In the news today, Russia is going to shut off oil to Poland and Bulgaria, and Rand Paul is still backing Russia, like many Republicans, saying that the U.S. Uh, urging them to join NATO played a huge role in Russia's invasion. Today, we're going to zoom out for something truly shocking, and first of all, why would he all these Republicans still back Russia. Well, it's the same reason that Saudi Arabia just donated $2 billion to Trump 2024. It's all about the oil. The oil industry more than anything controls the Republican Party. I keep calling the Republican Party terrorist, and I don't think you realize how much I mean that. Back in the day, the first George Bush, back in the day, George Bush Sr. was digging around in Iraq for weapons of mass destruction. Then September 11th happened and Bush goes to war, not with Afghanistan where Osama bin Laden was from, but in Iraq. Fighting this war that was nothing more than a proxy for the war between Saudi Arabia and Iran. A lot like how Ukraine right now is becoming a war between Russia and the United States through a proxy. And that's why so many Republicans will back Russia in favor of Ukraine. It's just like this. And it's all about the oil. And you look at those people at the center of that attack and you see what they're doing today. Organizing an attempted coup on the United States itself doing terrorism, killing 333,000 innocent American people with their coronavirus misinformation, looting the treasury while they price gouge the hell out of the American people with their oil, burning down those oldest food factories that they have in their portfolio, claiming the insurance money, just like Larry Silverstein, claim the insurance money in the World Trade Center towers. No wonder he never liked peace with Iran and that Saudi Arabia was the very first people he had visit him when he became president. 